So in the last meeting, we sort of touched on on where external approval processes live. And so it's, it's in a sub tab of, of the processes tab. Now it's between processes and external approval processes. Uh, so I have one set up. It's super simple. It's just called validate JIRA record. And all it does is it uses the IBM or JIRA for IBM Urban Code Deploy plugin. And it has a single step called check status. And that I've, I've hard coded in some of my credentials here, but I, uh, I'll, I've also configured this to take properties. But all that's doing is it's looking to make sure that all the specific issues in this issue ID step match a certain status. Um, and so uh, right now our, our JIRA is configured to, to have done be sort of the final state. So I figured a, a valid a valid state here would be to check if, if the work item is done. And so it's it's super simple. You could do a lot more in here. Um, you can pretty much do anything that you could do in a generic process. But for the purpose of this demo, we're, we're just checking the status. And so I have a sort of a dummy JKE banking application created. And that has a couple environments on it. And so for the sake of this, I'm saying the QA environment, you'd want to check Jira before it's deployed to, to make sure the work item is actually done. And so I've, I've set up my configuration settings where I'm requiring approvals and I'm specifically specifying my validate JIRA record process to run uh, as my approval. Uh, and it's just running on a, an agent that I can specify. So my deployment process, well, well, not too important for this. I'll just touch on it. It's, it's super simple. It just is sort of your standard install all the components in your application in, in some specific order. So we will see. First, I guess I'll show the success case. So find uh, a JIRA deploy one. Uh, this is something that's been done before uh, when we moved from RTC to JIRA. And so this is going to be something with the, the correct status. So I will show you. I can request a process. And this is actually a little preview of deployment page we're, we're providing for 712. It's no longer a dialogue. We get this, this nice multi-stage page. And so I want to run my install components process on it. And then these properties are actually all from my external approval process, um, which I, I didn't actually show. So I've, I've sort of set properties or property definitions on here that are sort of everything I would need uh, to connect to the server and to, to look information out from the server. So we're, we're adding the ability to specify those properties, which really lets me for my deployment, I can put in my JIRA ticket. Uh, so deploy one is our ticket. I'm just going to select some versions to deploy here. Then we can we can sort of review all the versions that are going to be used and all the properties that are, are set for the deployment. And that looks good to me. So I'm going to submit. And so almost immediately, we run the external approval process. Um, and the actual deployment process is yet to start. And then we'll see. Oh, my check status thing passed. It had the uh, correct status here. And so uh, my deployment was allowed to go. And so I guess conversely, we could do the same thing again. And since my my external approval process is looking for items that have the done state, uh, I have deploy 972 in my JIRA that is still in the to-do state. We haven't done it yet. And so I am going to put in deploy 972, doesn't matter what versions we choose because the process isn't actually going to run. Submit it. It'll reach out to JIRA. And uh, fingers crossed, this should fail. Cool. And then uh, external approval failed. This process request has been aborted, which is a very similar message to if somebody doesn't approve your, your manual process.